Thanks. Well, tonight, police across green country are looking for a man they say is behind numerous sexual battery cases. All of the attacks occurred within the last week. Two News reporter Dan Perlman is live with a Two News crime alert after speaking to one of the victims. Dan. Yeah, guys, you know, some of these attacks happened here near 71st and Memorial. Two of them happened in Broken Arrow and one more happened in Bixby. Tonight, for her safety, we are hiding one victim's identity and we are not revealing where she works. It felt like a long time to me, but it was probably 10 seconds long. It happened in the middle of the afternoon. He um, started on the outside of my pants and worked his way to the inside. I was able to push him off before anything further was to happen. Then the man left the business. Definitely violated. This attack is just one of six that police believe could be connected. I mean, it's scary to think that this guy's still out there. He's obviously doing it to multiple different girls. In one case, investigators say the man exposed himself to a 16-year-old girl. We just need to be aware, but there's crazy people out there. This surveillance photo from one attack shows the man investigators think is responsible. One woman also helped them draw this sketch. You always think you know what to do in those situations and people tell you what to do. You know, you know, you're supposed to scream and kick and hit and I was in such shock that I just I just froze. Now this victim is looking ahead. Her boss already bought her mace and she's thinking even more about her safety. I'm going to take a self-defense class just because someone did this to me doesn't mean that I have to stop my life. Now police tell us the suspect is a white man about six feet tall with brown hair. He has glasses and acne scars on his face. In some of the attacks, he was wearing this orange or black baseball hat. If you have any information, go ahead and call Crime Stoppers. That number is 918-596-COPS. Live in South Tulsa, Dan Perlman, 2 News, works for you. Dan, thanks.